So, um, yesterday we looked at making a copy of a Curtis Holder artwork. Today we are making our own artwork in the style of. So you are going to need a photograph of yourself or someone in your family or if you want to you can use an image off the internet or a magazine. Uh, this is a photograph of my daughter. Um, I have just um, put it into black and white and I put a filter on it actually on Pixar on my phone um, just to give it a bit more definition. You can do that if you want or you can just use a straight photo, it's up to you. Uh, so remembering the work of Curtis Holder, so we're using continuous line, working in colour pencil and, um, and thinking about how what combination of colours we're going to use, describing that person, building up layers um, as we work through. Um, so for this uh, drawing of Grace, I'm going to actually start off with a dark green. Um, so what I've gone for an, an angle photo. The, the, the image I drew, the copy I did of Curtis Holder was a similar sort of angle to this. Um, I didn't really think about that at the time, but um, perhaps that was already sort of in my memory of what I was doing. Um, but a um, bit of a tip, it's you tend to get a more effective um, portrait, a more flattering portrait, should I say, so if you're doing yourself, from a three-quarter view rather than a straight-on view. Um, I think it's partly to do with there's, there's less pressure on being symmetrical if you're doing a a three-quarter view, whereas if you're doing a a full-on front view, there's always that feeling that it needs to be completely symmetrical, which obviously none of us are symmetrical, and we look very odd. If you ever see, you you can find photos of people where they've been made to look symmetrical. They look very peculiar, quite alien-like. So. Um, Keeping my pencil on the paper at all times, continuous line, building up the darker areas of tone by putting on more pressure and more layers of line. Looking at my photograph more than I am looking at my paper. Using that line technique that I saw on the Curtis holder, so quite, quite scribbly, layering that up the whole time. Just try and get a bit definition in her eyeball there, so she actually looks like she's looking out. So this is quite difficult with her mouth open, you might prefer to go for a closed mouth option. Lots of tone under there. And then working back into these sections here now where it's quite dark. I think that did help actually putting that filter on it. So you can do that on your phone and just work from a picture off your phone. Okay, so that's my green. I think I'm going to go in with um, a blue, actually I'm going to go purple for my second colour because um, I want to get a little bit of depth in there. So that's just so that I can add in a bit more tone. And just add a bit more interest and remember what we said about the colours describing the person, so um, Grace is a very thoughtful, intelligent young lady. Um, 
very caring, very mindful of others. So I feel like I'm using colours that kind of describe that in her. She's also very fun and very joyful, which I think is what you get from this photograph. So I'm trying to fill a bit more of those white spaces now, because I've got quite a lot of white space there that I want to lose, really. Going a bit darker in that eye again. lost a little bit of the definition there on her nose so I'm just going to put some of that back in rework some of these outside lines just to get a bit more definition on there as well. There we go, so a continuous line drawing in layered colour in the style of Curtis Holder. <laughs> 